Hi, boys and girls. So we are going to continue learning about plant and animal relationships. And today's lesson 1.5 is what are seeds? So we are going to, um, let's think back about the lesson that we, we learned last week about the new trees in the Bengal Tiger Reserve. So we explored the plants in the Bengal Tiger Reserve by counting the trees. And remember, we collected all this data and we put it in a chart so that we can share it with the scientists that are studying these areas. So what did we discover about the plants? Remember, guys, we had to count all of these different types of plants and trees and figure out if there were any changes from 1995 to 2015. So were there any changes? Hmm. So today's big idea or like big concept for us to, to learn about and to try to discover and think about is plants make seeds that can grow into new plants. But you knew that already, right? So we're going to discuss this question throughout the unit and try to come up with some answers on how do seeds make trees grow in new places. So today we're going to investigate this question. How do new plants grow? We're going to be using words like seeds. It's things a plant makes that can grow into new plants. So I'm pretty sure you have all have seen uh, a seed before. If you think about um, any fruit that you've eaten, there's a seed inside, or sunflower seeds. Those are the easiest seeds for you to um, examine or investigate on your own. So if you go to the grocery store, ask your mom or dad to buy you a pack of sunflower seeds and then take them home, open them up, maybe put some in some dirt and have some fun with it. The other word that we're going to discover is um, or use is sprout. It's the start of the growth from a seed. And I'll show you a picture of what a sprout looks like. So boys and girls, today's lesson, you're going to come across slides that look like this. And that's where you stop and jot so that you can stop and think about these questions and jot down your ideas on what you want to say about this question. So when you come to this slide, you're going to click on this box and you're going to write in the box um, your ideas about how new plants like trees and bushes and grass grow. So what ideas do you have about that? So your second activity is observing seeds. You're going to help me organize these seeds. We think that seeds might have something to do with how new plants grow. So there's a picture of a um, person holding a seed. We think that trees have something to do with this. So let's observe the seeds to see what they look like and to see what new what we notice about how they are similar and how they are different. So here's a cup of seeds. I dump them out. And you're going to help me observe and sort the seeds into groups based on what they look like. What different categories can you use to sort the seeds? So here again, you're going to stop and you're going to jot down what category should I put these seeds into. So right underneath where it says I can sort the seeds by, you're going to tell me how to sort these seeds. How should I? So on this slide, thank you for your help. I organized the seeds based on your suggestions. So these are the same images of the three seeds that you just observed. And what plant do you predict? So that means do you guess, right? What plants do you predict these seeds will grow into? And what do you think the plants will look like? I don't know. But let's discover this together. So the white ones look like beans to me. The other ones look like they have a hard shell. And the other ones look like picks and they kind of look burned on the end. And I remember seeing those kinds of seeds somewhere else. So these are the seeds and this is where they originated from. So the ginkgo tree is um, the white shelled looking seeds and the marigold plant are these beautiful um, flowers and those are the seeds that come from them. And I remember um, in the garden class 
Miss Cecile gave us an envelope filled of those marigolds and we went home and we planted them. That's where I remember those seeds from. And lima beans. Oh, I was right. The white ones do look like beans and they are beans. And I'm not a fan of lima beans, but they are very healthy for you. So look, they grow on plants and the farmers pick them and it looks like they grow in a pod. Very nice. So can we remember right now what other types of seeds grow in a pod? Yeah, peas, right? I don't know if you've ever had peas before, but they're round and they're green and they're small. They're tasty. So now we're going to get to the part where we are reading about seeds. So remember, guys, we are investigating this question. What do, how do new plants grow? So we're going to investigate using this resource, The Handbook of Habitats by Rochelle Urban. So this is the same book that we used throughout this unit, and we're going to continue to use it because it's filled with information that will help us understand how new plants grow. So I'm going to read this part of this book to you, and you're going to click on the book when you are ready, and I'll be reading it. So this is a page from inside the book. It's making new plants. Plants start as seeds. A seed is something that can sprout and grow into a plant. So it's kind of like you. You are a seed from your mommy and daddy, and you sprouted into the child that you are right now, and you're going to continue to grow. So seeds may look very different, and still every seed is made by a plant. Hmm, so that's good information to remember. Every seed is made by a plant. So here we have a picture of a coconut, and some seeds are big. A coconut is a very big seed. Hmm, you learn something new every day. I didn't know that. And some seeds are inside sweet fruit, like these apple seeds. And some seeds are inside hard shells. A walnut is a seed with a very hard shell. And some seeds are small. The seeds inside this kiwi are very tiny. And some seeds have fluffy parts like this dandelion seed. Oh, well, it's beautiful. I usually pick dandelions and blow them. So here again, when you come to a, an orange slide, that means you have to stop and jot, right? So what new information did you find out about seeds? And what did you find out about how new plants grow? Hmm. So remember when we saw the other slide, we said that fruit has seeds. And we eat fruit, we pick fruit, we move fruit. So maybe that can help you answer this question. And remember, Miss Crespo said she likes to pick dandelions and blow the seeds. Well, maybe that's another way that we can think about how new plants grow. So you're going to jot down all your ideas on this, on this slide. And then we come to this slide. This slide, we're going to talk about what does a seed need to grow to spread to sprout and grow. So you will use this um, piece of paper here and you're gonna write down what you think seeds need to grow. So I gave you a little hint. There are two things that seeds need to grow. So you're gonna jot those down right there on that paper. And then the last activity is sequencing plant growth. Sequencing means putting something in order. I know you knew that from your previous grades, but I just wanted to retell you and remind you what sequencing means. So it just means to put something in order, right? So here is a picture of a strawberry plant, and we think we know how seeds grow into full-grown plants, right? So we're gonna show what we know on the next slide. So on this slide, we are going to use these pictures, these small pictures, and we're going to click and drag them onto the worksheet, page 13 right here, in these boxes. So what do you think went first? What do you think went next? How does this cycle look? So let's use what we know to put the pictures of the plants in growing order. So I left you a little... Um, a little sentence here that says, click and drag the pictures of the plants onto the worksheet. And that's all you're doing on this slide. Put them, put them in order. 
And then here is one of your last activities. Again, you're gonna stop and jot when you come to an orange slide. It says, click in the box below to add your thoughts about new plant growth. So this is you taking all of your information from all of the slides in this lesson today, and you're putting it down on this last slide. So based on what you've investigated so far, what do we know about how new plants grow? So I wanna see whatever you've learned, whatever you think, you're gonna stop and jot and put it down on this slide. And we are gonna share this information with the scientists to see if your information will help them with their project. Okay guys, I hope this lesson helped you. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section of this lesson and your teacher will get back to you. Bye boys and girls, see you next time.